So have you ever had the need to create video content at work and struggled with expensive subscriptions and complicated software and the need to become a video editor? Because Microsoft Copilot is now changing all of that with new capability that will allow you to generate video content in just minutes by simply describing what the video should include. And today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use that capability to do exactly that and what it's good at and not so good at. So you can create professional looking videos in just a few minutes and save all important time. And before we dive in, I mean, it's really good to set some expectations because last year in 2024, OpenAI released Sora. It allowed us to create AI generated videos and the results were pretty outstanding. It could generate animals and planets and more, and they all looked fairly realistic. But Microsoft Copilot changes the way it creates videos. It uses stock videos to be able to create the video content, and that might seem a little confusing, but for professional videos in the workplace, it works really quite well. The idea is that you can simply give Copilot a topic, and then it will build out a script and also convert that into audio and add stock footage to support the video, making it really work well for workplace videos. Videos focusing on business processes or handling complaints or how to manage security in the workplace can now be generated by Copilot and make it look really professional as if they're created by a third party. So with that in mind, let's head into Microsoft Copilot where we together can create some new video content and check out the results in real time and see what Copilot can do and can't do so you can bring it into your team and create some professional looking video content. To get started and create our first video, let's head into Microsoft Teams and open up Copilot. On the right hand side, you'll find an option for your visual creator, which acts as an agent in Copilot that's available to create images and also now videos. By left clicking on this option here, we'll now begin to use visual creator. And when Visual Creator now loads, you'll find some example prompts you can see here on the screen. They're a great way to get started with Visual Creator, whether that's creating images or creating videos. But I've got a very specific requirement I need to do. I need to focus on the video around our complaints process and share it with my team members so they're well understood what we should do when handling complaints. And we're gonna have Copilot help us by creating that video. So let's head down to our prompt box at the bottom and I'll simply ask Copilot to create a video on how to handle complaints at work, focusing on the different elements that we've got to raise a complaint and also outlining what we're going to do when handling the complaint at work. We also need to make sure that the video covers that we take complaints seriously and also it's an opportunity to put things right. So with that now drafted, let's go ahead and send it into Copilot. And within seconds, Copilot has now generated the video for us. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Handling complaints at work is crucial for maintaining a positive and productive environment. By following the correct process, you can ensure that every complaint is taken seriously and resolved effectively. First, fill out the formal complaint form accurately. Include all necessary details to ensure the complaint is clear and comprehensive. Next, inform your manager about the complaint. This is a crucial step to ensure that the issue is addressed promptly and professionally. Lastly, let the customer know that their complaint will be processed within two weeks. They will receive a response directly from the complaints manager. Taking complaints seriously and addressing them promptly helps build trust and improve our services. By following these steps, you ensure that every complaint is an opportunity to put things right. So there you go, a pretty awesome video created in just a few seconds that we can share with our team. And to be honest, I was pretty blown away with the results and how it can generate that so quickly. But there are some areas that Copilot in its video creation doesn't quite satisfy. And I'll give you an example of that. Let's go ahead and click on new chat. And this time I'm gonna ask Copilot to create a different type of video. It's an instructional on how to create a new task inside a Microsoft Planner. And let's see what Copilot can come up with when it creates a video to explain that process. And we now have a video created by Copilot. Once again, let's check out the results and see what it's created for us. 
Want to keep your tasks organized and manageable? Let's dive into creating a task in Microsoft Planner. It's easy, efficient, and helps you stay on top of your work. First, open Microsoft Planner from your Office 365 app launcher or go directly to the Planner website. Next, select the plan where you want to add a task. If you don't have a plan yet, create one by clicking on New Plan. Now, click on the plus Add Task button. A new window will pop up where you can enter details for your task. Enter the task name, set a due date, and assign it to the appropriate team members. You can also add a description for more details. Finally, click Add Task to save it. Your task will now appear in your selected plan, ready for you and your team to tackle. And that's it. You've successfully created a task in Microsoft Planner. With this powerful tool, managing your tasks and collaborating with your team has never been easier. Happy planning. So an interesting result from Copilot, but I think you probably agree that that video doesn't really meet the mark. And why is that? Well, remembering that the Copilot is video creation is using stock video content, and there is no stock video content for Microsoft Planner. So instructional videos where you have to use technology or other processes is probably not best suited for how this Copilot video creation works. But you can ultimately see that if you were more focused on a topic around complaints or processes that you have in the business, how this could really work for you. But also, maybe you're not happy with the results and you want to make changes to it. Is that possible in this new Copilot experience or do you only have the video that it's also created for you? Well, the great news is whatever Copilot creates, we can also edit. And how can we get back to those videos that have been created for you? Well, they're all stored in your OneDrive for Business. As we're seeing today, Microsoft 365 Copilot can do so much for you when it comes to automating and making work easier for you. But we also know it can be tricky in using it in the best possible ways. And that's why you can now access our 365 Copilot Masterclass that we have over on our website at Your 365 Coach. It's content recorded by us showing you the best ways to use Copilot across Outlook, Teams, Word, Excel, Copilot agents, and more. So if you want to get ahead with Copilot, then why not check out our masterclass to become even better at using Copilot in the workplace. So other than that, let's head back into Copilot and see what else we can do with this new capability. And if we move over to OneDrive for Business, you'll see it creates a new folder called Videos, and within that, another called ClipChamp. ClipChamp is a video editing software Microsoft provides as part of Microsoft 365. Then you'll have access to all of the videos you've created with Copilot. If I open the video for handling complaints, we'll see a file here for our ClipChamp video. Left click into it and you'll open the web editor. We can make changes now to this video to more meet our requirements. But what type of changes are supported here? Or well, any element of the video can be changed. Yes, even the text, audio, video assets and more. And you can choose from different stock videos as well. So let's make a few small tweaks to this video. For example, if I left click into this option here, we have some text that is also transcribed into audio around handling complaints at work. What we can now do is make a change to this text and also have that audio updated live in the video. Let's go ahead and make a change to the start of this text. And with that change now made, we can preview this and understand what the impact is by clicking on the preview button. How we manage complaints at work is crucial for maintaining a positive and productive environment. By far so you can see here, that these changes in ClipChamp can be made in a variety of different scenarios, even changing the audio elements. So now let's go ahead and zoom out of our timeline to see all the different assets inside of our video. We can see here that we have some text on the screen. Bringing this across, we can see the handling complaints text was shown. Again, we can make a small change here to further refine what Copilot has created for us. And there we go. We now have changed that text there and center aligned it. So you can see all of these different elements are editable inside of ClipChamp. But what happens when you're ready to go? Because the video inside of our Copilot wasn't able to be exported straight as an MP4 file or a video file to upload elsewhere. 
Well, all we now need to do is click on the export button here and you could define the quality of the video or set a file name out of the description and even change the location about where this video is also exported to. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this version, but also set the resolution to 720p. Selecting export here will take us into a section in ClipChamp, which is all around the export of the video, giving us options that we can also take the video and publish it in different locations. And we can even see on the right hand side, our video inside of this preview window. But don't close this tab because this tab is also converting the video for us. And within a few seconds, ClipChamp has now finished and published the video. What we can now do is save a copy to your computer or you could open the file location. By opening the file location, we'll see it's stored once again in your OneDrive for Business under a new exports folder in the folder we worked on for this video. You'll see it's an MP4 file, so you could take it into different platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, or even inside of Microsoft Stream. As an example, I'm now gonna go ahead and share it with my colleagues. I could do this via a sharing link here, but I could also do the same with ClipChamp by selecting share with people at your 365 coach and selecting the link settings, I'm gonna go ahead and ensure this link can be opened by anyone in the company and also take a copy of that link. With that now done, I'm gonna go ahead and share it with my team inside of our Microsoft team. We have our customer services team who would also need to review this content. Let's head over to Microsoft Teams and start a new post. And all we now need to do is paste in that link and we can see that this post now embeds the video. I'll go ahead and add a subject line and a little bit more information to also share what this video is all about. And with that post now submitted, the team can watch this training material directly in the Microsoft team, including all the audio and the different assets that we've now have inside of our new video for managing complaints in the workplace. But how long has this taken us? Well, probably no more than 15 minutes. Creating a bespoke video, sharing it with your team, ensuring that they can understand it around a business process that's relevant to you and your own business and team. So how cool is that? Creating videos with Copilot and then sharing them with your team, a task that could take days, can now be done in just minutes. So what do you think about these new Copilot capabilities? Because I was pretty much blown away by them, but I think they work for a particular scenario. And that would be the type of content that we see on e-learning platforms. When you work in a company, you often have to do videos, training you on different processes, how to handle complaints, how to manage security of your IT equipment, and more. We do that training every single year, but sometimes those videos need to be a little bit more bespoke. And that's where I think these co-pilot videos that get created can really help. Creating your bespoke or a niche video for your team or workplace is now possible with the help of co-pilot and doing it in a matter of hours rather than days is also now possible. That being said, I don't think this capability replaces tutorials like the one you're watching right now. Stuck footage doesn't allow us to do that because it simply doesn't exist for the range of different technologies that we show you. And so I pretty much feel that while our videos will continue to make every single week and they won't as yet anyway, get replaced by Copilot or AI, but you never know. In fact, I'm asked every single week by at least one comment, am I an AI? Well, I can definitely say no, but of course an AI would always say that. So other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have hit the like button, not forgetting the all important subscribe button to find more great content like this every single week. And let me know in the comments what you think about this new Copilot capability. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.